Hello my best people Thank you for always watching our videos I so much appreciate you Then in today's video we are going to be making Seafood pasta in tomato sauce So let's go straight down to the introduction of the ingredients Here are the ingredients for the seafood pasta we are preparing today. Here is fresh tomato, fresh pepper and chili pepper. Here is onions, parsley, butter. Here on this box we have Seasoning, salt, white pepper. Here is my minced garlic, vegetable oil, pasta, basil leaf, prawns, fresh fish. Here is calamari. Here are the ingredients. I've just finished introducing so let's go to the making of the pasta first thing I'm going to do is to season all my seafood season them with salt stock cube garlic and then white pepper I'm going to mix all of them together then set it aside for it to get marinated this method is going to be applied to both the fish and the calamari the fish I'm using here is croaker fish and I think this should be the best fish for this recipe Here you can cut your calamari to any size of your choice. There's no crime in doing that. The seasoning still remain the same. Before cooking further, I'll be blending my fresh tomato. Fresh pepper. Then onions and set it aside. While that is done, I put water on fire, then add salt and oil for the pasta. Then I will saute all my seafood and allow it to get well cooked. Then I'll set it aside for the next step. By now, my water should be boiling. So I'm going to be adding my pasta to the water and allow it to cook then I will go back and continue with my seafood Once the pasta is properly cooked, pass it through a sieve and run it through a water to stop it from cooking. Then bring in your butter to a wok 
and add some quantity of vegetable oil. Allow it to get melt before adding your onions and garlic. Give it a stir before adding in your tomato puree. Once it's well cooked, you can now add in your seasoning cube and salt. Then stir all together before adding in your seafood. Allow it to get well cooked before adding in your pasta. Allow it to be well mixed before chopping in your basil leaf. The flavor from basil leaf is so exceptional. That's why I love adding it to my seafood pasta. Mix everything together and allow it to get well hot before pulling it down. Then it's ready to be served. Thank you so very much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. I would so much appreciate if you can click on that like button to appreciate me for a work well done. Then if you are new to this channel, please don't fail to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post new videos. To our returning subscribers, may God bless you. And God loves you more than how you love Uko Marketing. Thank you so very much. See you next week on our next video.